Welcome to the Ingalls Table. I'm Steve Warnoff. The interim innkeeper. What's that mean? Well, good question. This country is full of bed and breakfasts from sea to shining sea. And the kind people who run those establishments, well, they need vacations too. Like Jim and Teresa Fuller, who own and operate Arbor House here in Black Mountain, North Carolina. And when they need someone to fill in and feed their hungry guests, they call me. I have a deep love of cooking and began when I was 11 years old. And today, I'm excited to cook with you. Hi folks, I just got back from Ingalls where I did all my shopping for my worn off juicy burgers. Now first we have in our pan, we have ground beef, 80-20, um, and we have ground pork. To that, we're going to add, real quickly, an egg. We're going to add some minced garlic, soy sauce, Worcestershire, breadcrumbs, sriracha, to give it just a little kick. And then the secret ingredient, beer. Also too, we're gonna to add in some onions. Now, we're going to mix this and form it into burgers. And the two best mixing tools that you have in your kitchen, these. So now we're gonna get dirty. Once you have them really nice and mixed, I use about a handful. They can be any size that you would wish. Form it into a ball, kind of flatten it out. Then another little tip, take your thumb, make an indention in the middle. That keeps them from shrinking. Now if you're doing this on a charcoal grill, you want to make sure your coals get down to be nice and white hot. And then you can cook these for about, for medium rare, cook them for about two to three minutes per side. And so that's what I'm going to do here, and then we'll be back to you. So, I've been cooking these burgers for, oh, two to three minutes per side, and now I'm ready to add the cheese. Now, I'm using a really good cheddar, uh, but you can use white American, provolone, whatever you would wish. It goes really well. All right, so what we're gonna do here, now that the cheese is nice and melted, you add it to your bun. So you can make the burger your own by adding whatever condiments that you would wish to. And so there you have it. Happy eating. Well, we're all set. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Ingalls Table. Make sure and explore the site for more great tips and recipes. See you next time.